Hello, First Church children and families. Welcome to Sunday School. We'll light our candle to remind us that God is always with us. There's been a lot of things going on in our own city, in our state, and in the nation that are not very pleasant things or very godlike things. Today is my lesson on the Golden Rule, which comes from a series of teachings that Jesus preached called the Sermon on the Mount. And it's very, very, very important lesson. It doesn't matter how different you are, what color you are. We should all treat others as we want to be treated. So the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount provide instruction for how we are to live to be happy. The way Jesus teaches us to live is sometimes different than the way the world tells us to live. God calls on us to depend on and obey God, to be humble, be merciful, be pure of heart, and to be peacemakers even when the world tries to get us to do otherwise. Our scripture says, now faith, hope, and love remain. These three things, and the greatest of these, is love. Treat others with love. God has always given his people guidance on how they should treat one another we tend to be selfish unless trained otherwise, but God wants us to be considerate of others. He said that we should treat others the way that we would like to be treated. How would you like to be treated? Think about that. With respect, would you like people to listen to you and not, ha not be interrupted? Would you like people to share with you and be kind to you? If we like these things from others, it's only natural that others would want to be treated the same way. Love is not just a warm, fuzzy feeling of affection, although it can include that. Love is putting someone else first in your life, taking care of what they need before you take care of your needs. The golden rule is love in action, treating others well because, because others are as important as you are. Jesus said that when Christians love and care for each other, the world would know that we are Jesus' people. The Golden Rule. I have a special story today. It's called The Land of Many Colors. I got this from Pastor Tina. Thank you, Pastor Tina, for this book. This book shows us how we should live together and how we should treat others the way we would like to be treated. This is interesting because this book was actually put together by preschoolers who talked about these things on a regular basis until they put this book together. So these little creatures all live in their own little worlds, each thinking they are the best. Let's see what happens. This book is copyrighted in 1993 by Scholastic Incorporated, and the illustrations are copyrighted in 1993 by Rita Pocock. Here we go. These are the purple people. They like purple food. 
They have purple pets. They think purple is best. These are the blue people. They like blue food. They have blue pets. They think blue is best. And then we have the green people. Can you guess what kind of food they like and what kind of pets they have? One day the purple people said, we need more toys. The blue people said, we need more blue food. And the green people said, and listen to this, we don't need anything because we are the best. Before they knew how it happened, they were all fighting and hurting each other. It was war. The houses were ruined. The animals were hurt. The plants were smashed and all of their toys were broken. The food was running out and everyone was sad. Then one little child, all covered with dust, walked up and said, Stop! Why are you hurting each other? We are all different, but we're all the same. Everyone looked at the little child. Was he purple? Was he blue? Was he green? No one could tell. He was just dusty. This war is mean, he said. It is scary. We should all be friends. We all have feelings that make us happy or sad. We all love animals and flowers and rainbows. We should learn to live together. The different people looked at each other. They smiled. He is right, they shouted, and the war was over. Soon they began to help each other build houses. Everyone helped to take care of the animals. They traded seeds among one another for planting, and the people were happier. There was still the problem of food. There would only be enough food if they mixed it all up and everyone ate all of the different colors. So they did. They ate it. They loved it. This is better than anything, they shouted. They were happy to all be friends. And the land of many colors became a peaceful, loving world. So this story says we put ourselves in groups of people who are pretty much exactly like we are, but we cover our eyes to people who are different. That makes for a very troubled world. The blue people and the purple people and the green people all battled against each other. Why? Because each group thought they were the best. You can't know who is the best because no one is better than anyone else. Open your eyes to differences and I think you will find how much alike you really are. The golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated. To end our story today, I have a little prayer that came from a book that I had read to my daughter every night before she went to bed. And here is one of our prayers for today. Think about these words. When I'm safe and warm in my own home and turn on the TV, I see children out in other lands who aren't as lucky as me. They're hungry, cold, and frightened, and no one seems to care. Please keep them safe, Lord, if you can, and show them that you're there. Dear God, thank you for loving us and showing kindness to us. Help us practice the golden rule this week so others will see your love in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Stay tuned for Monday Fun Stories and have a wonderful day. Bye.